Now it's time to integrate all of the things that we've learned regarding adding and subtracting positive and negative decimal numbers and now use it in a more practical scenario, the problem solving type questions. So it's important that you really understand how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers before you start this lesson because I'm not going to be reviewing very, very much well. I'm just going to be getting to the point in solving these. So if at any time you're confused regarding any step that I performed, make sure that you go back to those lessons and review it. Let's look at question one. Before we start, I'm going to make uh, a point of this that there are going to be words here that symbolize addition. So some words are going to mean add, and there's going to be other words that represent subtraction. See if you can find them as I read this. A submarine descends to a depth of negative 22.4 meters. If it rises 12.6 meters, what is its new depth? Do you see any words that could symbolize addition or subtraction? How about descends? Okay, it descends, that, that means subtract. Subtract. Uh, how about rise? Very good. If you found that, that means addition. So we have to add. Now, they do the subtraction for us. They tell us. Now, if a submarine starts at sea level or at water level, and then it descends, it's subtracting, and it descends 22.4 meters, that means it's already at negative 22.4 meters. It's already fallen to that level. We just need to write this number out. No subtraction necessary. They did the work for us and told us, hey, it's negative 22.4. So we'll write that down, negative 22.4 meters, meters, and then it rises. Okay, so that means add 12.6, but is it positive 12.6? Is it negative 12.6? Is there, a, no, there's no symbol beside it, so we just write, right, we just write positive 12.6 meters. Make sure you put symbols, positive or negative, beside all numbers. Even if it's positive, still write it down. Now we have the question set up. This means rise, and this is just positive, okay, because there's no symbol beside it. Now we just go ahead and add the numbers together. So what's the rule for adding numbers that have different symbols? Negative and positive, yeah, they don't get along, so we subtract. Now we ignore the symbol. We ignore the symbols. We just look at the number. 22 versus 12. 22 is bigger. 22.4 meters subtracted by 12.6 meters. I'm going to go ahead and subtract. We're going to get 8. We're going to get 9.8. .8. But is it positive or negative? Well, now you still look, ignore the symbols. Just look at the number. 22 beats 12. 22 is bigger. Yeah, I know 12.6 is, is a positive and it's larger than negative 22.4, but we don't care about the symbols. We're just looking at the numbers. 22 is bigger than 12 and 22 is a negative. So is the answer. Why does this even work? Because look, if we start with negative 22.4, we have 22 negatives, roughly, 22 negatives, and we add a few positives, only 12 of them, each positive will wipe out a negative. But you're still going to have a lot of negatives left over, right? Which is why it'll remain a negative answer. 9.8 meters below the ocean. Here we have temperature. Very practical. If the temperature outside is negative 12.6 degrees, and then the temperature drops 0 0.6 degrees each hour, what temperature will it be after four hours? A lot going on here. There's a lot going on. So we have here, we know the temperature outside is negative 12.6. Great. But then the temperature drops. What does drop mean? Of course, it means subtract. Yes. I hope nobody said add. It's subtract. So we're going to subtract 0 0.6? No because it drops 0 0.6 every hour for four hours. So how much did it drop? Isn't that 0 0.6 times four? Yeah, so let's do that. 0 0.6 times four. That's going to be 24, carry the two, 2.4 degrees. It really dropped. Didn't drop altogether 0 0.6. It dropped 2.4 degrees Celsius. What did it start at? It started at negative 12.6. Great. Negative 12.6. Then it dropped. So we're going to write subtract. This means drop. And then it dropped 2.4. Now, do we write negative 2.4? Do we write positive 2.4? I have students that say you should write negative 2.4 because it dropped, and drop means negative. 
Not quite. Drop means subtract. We already wrote the subtract in. But look at the 2.4. There's no num there's no symbol beside it. It is a positive. Now what? We can't subtract. Every subtraction question has to be turned into an addition one. That was the strategy we learned. How do we do it over here? Negative, positive. Okay, we flip them. Yes, that's what's going to work. So we're going to flip the signs. This one becomes the negative, and this one becomes the positive. We just took them in, just flipped them around. Now we can look at the symbols and say, okay, they're the same, so we have to add. We're going to add 12.6 plus 2.4, making sure the decimals are lined up. We're going to go 15.0 degrees Celsius is our final answer. That's what temperature it will be after four hours. 15.0, but is it going to be negative or positive? Negative. Why? Because look, we have 2 versus 12. Ignore the symbols. Ignore the negatives. Just look at 2 versus 12 wins. It's a negative. So was our answer. Think about it this way. You have negative 12. That's a lot of negatives. And you add 2 more negatives. See? Add 2 more negatives. This doesn't mean drop anymore. We're done with the drop. You add 2 more negatives, you're going to have even more negative, right? It's going to be a negative answer. Last question. An airplane is this high above the ground. Let's write it down. 168.2 meters above the ground. Then it rises. Rise means add. Oh, we've got to put this in brackets. It's a positive. How do I know that's a positive? Because there's no symbol beside it. No indication it's a negative. It's above the ground. So it's going to be a positive 168.2. Imagine the plane here on the runway. It's Imagine the ground is zero, and then it rises, 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 and now it's flying up here. That's going to be a positive, that's a positive 168 meters. Then it rises, look, rises 22.5 meters. So it rises, that's pl plus 22.5 meters. But then what happens? And then it, let's get rid of this, then it falls. It falls, that means subtract. It falls 6.8 meters. Positive, negative 6.8, what is it? It's gonna be positive 6.8, right? Because there's no, but what about fall? Falls means take away. It, it does mean take away. We already wrote falls over here. This is falls, this is falls. This means just 6.8. There's no symbol beside it. We just write it like that. But we don't like the subtraction sign there. So what do we do? We flip them around. This becomes positive. And this one becomes the negative. Now we can go ahead and do it like any other question we've done so far. Oh, this is positive 22.5. We have the first two numbers have the same sign, so we add them. We're going to go 168.2 plus 22.5. See if you can beat me to the answer. 7, 10, 9, 1. We get 190.7. So all of those... Here, the first two makes 190.7 meters. That's it. Now we have this left over, and it's a positive. Is it positive? Yeah, it's positive. A positive 190. Why? Well, because we have positive here and a positive there. They're positive answer. Now we're going to add negative 6.8. Great, it's addition, so we can use our strategy. Signs are different. We have to subtract. We're going to go 190. 0.7 subtracted by 6.8. When we do that, this becomes 8, this becomes 10, which becomes 9, which becomes 17. That's going to be 9. That's going to be 3. That's going to be 8. That's going to be 1. Great. Now, what's the answer, positive or negative? Ignore the symbols. Look at the numbers. 6 versus 190. 190 wins. It's a positive. So was our answer.